The fourth tool or the fourth way to increase your ability to hear your intuition is getting into flow activities or flow inducive type of activities. And some of those activities could include things such as Tai Chi or Qigong, which is a practice I practice. Um, I actually have some videos on Qigong and some Qigong exercises on my channel. I'll tag one up right here. Um, this is a video that I put together with my Sifu, my Qigong teacher, who has been practicing Qigong for over 20 years. Um, you can sign up on my newsletter and you will receive that free exercise that is very powerful at creating an inner stillness and an inner silence within you so that you can become more attuned and more aware of what your intuition is telling you. So Qigong and Tai Chi, these very flow, slow, mindful practices. I will include yoga in that as well. Maybe not power yoga, but more of a gentle yoga flow. Those things can definitely help you get in that flow state. And basically what I mean by flow state is when you're doing something rhythmic, repetitive, mindful, slow, most often, when you're doing something like that, your mind gets to this place where it kind of shuts down on the noise, on the background noise. It's almost like there's this like, constant air condition that's on in our minds at all times the humming of those sounds of those thoughts in the background that gets quiet through some of these flow activity exercises and so that exercise that i mentioned with you earlier that was linked up there that could help you tremendously with that also tag that in the description box if this one had already you know has already passed and you can't see it but um, the link in the description box can help you practice that one Qigong exercise that I have shared with you with my Sifu. But another thing that can help you, another type of flow activity that can help you a lot is running. Running is actually one of my earliest forms of meditation. The way I learned meditation was through running. I started running kind of long distance for me. It's not long at all, but like it was long for what I was used to doing. And that kind of running, that consistent pace, it was more like jogging, to be honest, but that consistent pace, that repetitive motion really helped my emotions and my mind to quiet down. And during those times, during those runs, and especially post run, that 20 minute post run high, those were some of the most clear times that I would be the most clear headed and just get very clear intuitive downloads. Um, and what those were induced by was running, which is a very rhythmic, repetitive kind of motion um, or flow inducing activity. Another thing could be dance. I mean, I know for sure dance can bring about those same feelings because it's, it's flowy, it's rhythmic, it's repetitive at times. Um, and it's a practice that is best done when you kind of shut down your mind and you're not super trying to like focus on every move, you know? So things like ecstatic dance um, or just dancing, feeling free, like those things can really bring about that same flow type of feeling that I'm talking about in this point. I don't know if lifting weights would necessarily be a good one to mention here, but things such as kettlebell flows or things that are repetitive where you're not doing something different, I think that lifting weights would be just best reserved for kind of enhancing your ability to think but not necessarily enhancing your ability for your mind to be quiet. Now, I'm not saying that's true across the board and in your case, but in my case, lifting weights usually kind of enhances my ability to think versus quieting down my mind. But certain activities like kettlebell flows and things like that that are more rhythmic, more repetitive, more flowy, those kind of things can also be mentioned here. Although I would try to steer you a little bit away from lifting weights as a part of flow inducing activity because that stops a lot and starts again like you do a set you stop start again and that doesn't have the same kind of rhythmic flow to it although it does enhance your ability to hear your thoughts more clearly so for this part things like running yoga qigong tai chi dance um, those kind of things would be a lot more helpful at inducing the kind of flow state that we're talking about here so check those activities out and check that exercise out if you want to practice a little bit of Qigong and see the effects of it for yourself. Those types of activities really help quiet the mind, which when coupled by meditation, prayer, journaling, 
can create a super combo of enhancing your ability to hear your intuition. If you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one related to anything I just discussed in this video or anything that I speak about on my channel and you would like to meet one-on-one -on -one with me so that we can go deeper in a personalized matter for you and talk about what could best serve you in this present moment, then please check out the link in the description as I have started offering one-on-one -on -one coaching that is tailored and personalized for you and for your needs at this present moment and that will be the most effective way and the most maximal way that I can ever be of support and help to you. So if you want to check that out, please check out the link in the description and apply for a one-on-one -on -one call with me and we'll talk very soon and I'm looking forward to seeing you in that one-on-one -on -one container. So thank you guys for checking out that short clip from one of my longer videos that is linked right here. If you want to watch that, click that. And if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos from me on your homepage in YouTube. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.